right now. Okay. Okay, so okay. now. A few of you I probably already know, maybe some of you already been through my program. And if so, how are you? Good to hear you. Good to see you. And then all you have to do is do the um, present online, John. Right. So I'm going to tell you about my program and then at the end we'll answer some questions and uh, we'll see what we can see. All right, so um, this program really is to get you the label, the tag, the cachet of having a number one bestseller on Amazon. What that means is you outsold everyone in your category. That category may be very small, only a couple of hundred books, but Amazon gives you that label and that label is valid and you can use it to your benefit as you promote your book and your business. Okay, John, you can go to the next page. John has to run my PowerPoint for me too. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? I just lost that too, hold on. All right. Okay. All right, so my bestseller campaign includes quite a few things and uh, many things that aren't really listed here. We work with social media quite a bit. I am a fan of Twitter. I use Google Plus, I use Pinterest. I don't use LinkedIn much, but some of the people that are you know, heavy into business do use um, LinkedIn, it's a good business tool. And um, I, I, I try to teach you how to use Twitter with purpose. When we use Facebook, we use it for fun. When we use Twitter, we use it with purpose. And then that means we find like-minded people talking our talk that have good size followings, and that might mean 5,000, 10,000, 25,000. And we interact with them. We retweet them just like you like and share on Facebook. You retweet and like on Twitter. They get a notification just like on, on uh, Facebook. And they say, oh, that nice Denise Casino, she's been retweeting me and liking me. I'm going to start retweeting her. When that happens, you get 10 people doing that for you. With 25,000 followers, you just reach 250,000 people, even though you might only have 250 followers yourself. So it's a strategy to get uh, people to share your content with their large following. We usually spend two or three weeks on this and revisit it several times. There are quite a few uh, support websites for Twitter and they're very helpful and they're very, um, uh, they, they make what you're doing much easier. It's like a dashboard that you work from that presents you with all the best stuff and tells you what to do with it. So we'll look at a lot of things, but um, we'll focus on Twitter and Facebook. Then we have the Amazon aspect. Usually what I do is help you guys get your account set up on uh, CreateSpace, which is where your paperback is published, and on Kindle, KDP, which is where your ebook is published. There's also um, an author section of Amazon that you can fill out your author profile, you can bring in your blog posts, you can upload videos and, and images. You know, it can be, if you have images in your book, you can upload some of those. If you have um, multiple pictures of yourself from the book, you can use those. There's a lot of different things you can put up there, but uh, you can also add 5,000 words of content to your Amazon page. Now that's a lot of material and nobody really wants to read that, but they also give you formatting. So you can bold, italicize, uh, you can do bullet points. And when you do all that, it makes your keywords pop off the page. So it looks like your book's important because there's a lot of material, 
but they get to content by just going, perusing the page with the bolded content. Then um, we create our own content for social media. And I'll show you some sample slides uh, later on in the program. I'll create a landing page and I'll show you some samples of that. We do a six day blitz on the internet. And that is Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Google Plus, email, and uh, Facebook. We both do our own Facebook. I do almost all of the promoting once we get to the point of the six day e blitz. All you do is post to Facebook. And if you have other like Instagram things I don't work with you on, you can post to those too. We will have a dozen images and 72 tweets, and they'll all just keep going out over the six days. Um, also, at the end, after we're done and you have your bestseller, and really the top 100 is in any category is bestseller. So you'll get a bestseller. Our goal is to get you a number one. Um, we'll set you up with ongoing promotion. We'll take that same content and set it up in a system so you're constantly promoting your book, but not massively, you know, three, four things a day. And that on Twitter is plenty. I mean, it's not even very much. And then after um, we're done, I am available to you ever after at no cost for consultation. If you have an idea you want to run by me or you forgot how to do something or that sort of thing, I'm available. And I'll also keep you in the loop and send you every good thing I get on, you know, I'll get things in my email that look promising and I'll forward them all to you guys so that you can utilize them too. Okay, John, you can go to the next page. Okay, we talked about these things, um, these being the main promotional tools. John, go ahead, I kind of covered this. You can go on to the next page. Okay, so we'll complete your author page. Your book pages are the sales page. There are various tools on the sales page that you can use too. They put social media buttons on there. So you can go at any time onto your Amazon page, click the Facebook button or the Twitter button and post your book to either of those uh, social media uh, networks. So there's a few things I'll go over with you on the Amazon page. <clears throat> and uh, then we will pick categories. We'll spend a whole hour. We'll meet one hour each week and we'll spend an entire session looking at categories. Amazon has their own unique categories. Even though the publishing industry has another set, we'll bypass that publishing industry and we'll go for the Amazon categories because they're better, smaller, more niche categories that fit your book, you know, they're more appropriate. So we will spend a whole session doing that. All right, John, go, you can go to the next page. Okay, these are the kind of images we'll create, memes for social media. And um, along the way, if you don't have a Twitter account, I'll help you set up a Twitter account. We'll, I can create a header for your Twitter account and your Facebook account. We'll write, we'll, this is where we'll be writing our tweets and, and creating our images. And we can use these on any social media. So, you know, they'll be colorful. Some of them have a background photo. You know, if you, like with um, Tim McKeever, we did some, some uh, scenes from Denver, that sort of thing. And uh, otherwise they're just attractive, colorful, eye-catching with, with an eye-catching subject line or header. Okay, John. Okay. Um, there's a few things that, that Amazon offers and other, other websites offer that can help you promote your book. 
KDP Select is something you must opt into on Kindle. When we upload your book to Kindle, you can decide if you want to be in KDP Select. What they give you are a couple of things in, in exchange for keeping your book, your ebook, exclusive to Amazon for 90 days. You can do uh, give your book away free any five days. A lot of people do that, especially if you're a self-help book, then you get you can get a lot of downloads. And if you've got your information in the back of the book, your contact info, your services, it could be really beneficial to do a giveaway. Some people have 10,000 downloads. Some people have 500, but you know, it gets the word out and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. So you can consider that. Some people say, I'll never give my book away free. You know, it's up to you. They also have a Kindle countdown program, which I don't really understand. And I don't think it's very effective. It's a, a plan where you start out offering your book at either a higher or low, probably a higher price. And then each day you lower it and promote it as, oh, only one day, 99 cents kind of thing. I don't get it and I don't think it's very a very effective tool, but it is available. Then Goodreads, while Goodreads is not a very user-friendly site, once you get it set up and you have an author page there, they also have giveaways. Now their giveaways are more like uh, Amazon's paperback giveaway program, which you can find on the paperback sales page for any book on Amazon and you just click a link that says create a giveaway and go through the steps. On both of them, I believe, they pick the winners. You might say on Goodreads, I wanna do a 90 day giveaway and I'm gonna give away three books. At the end of that 90 days, uh, Goodreads contacts you and says, these are the people that won, please send them a book. So you, you mail them a book. I just do it through Amazon. I put them in my Amazon contacts and send it that way. Goodreads, or that's for Goodreads. Amazon has a similar thing. Fill out a form, pick your days, and you can give your book away in a contest kind of format. And then you must uh, mail them those books when they win the contest. There's a lot of stuff on the internet. There's a Books Go Social, which is not a bad program. And I did it with one of my clients and he did sell some books through it. And it's not very expensive. I think you get about 90 days of promotion for $49. And anything else you find, we'll look at. And if it looks good, we'll, we'll uh, consider doing it. But there's a lot of different, different people doing book marketing on the internet. And there's, you know, a lot of material comes across my screen. I find different things. So when I do, I'll put them in front of you. Okay, John. Okay. Now you're probably going to say, why do you, I'm going to have a website. Why are we going to create a landing page too? Well, mainly because most people's websites have uh, many ways to get lost. You have a blog, so people go read your blog and forget about your book. Or you have uh, your, your social media buttons. They click on Facebook, they're gone. They're in their own account, they forgot about you and your book. So why don't you click on a couple of these? I don't think my gumdrop link is working, but uh, try the midlife with style. Is it going? Yeah. You see it? No. You don't see it? Let me no. try it again. Can you see it now? No, I'm not seeing it. Is anyone else seeing it? It worked perfect when we uh, did our test case. I'm, I'm getting some chats. We'll see what they're saying. They're not seeing it. Either. No, they're not seeing it in chat either. I don't know why. Let's see. Well, let me tell them what's on the page then. 
we have um, about the book. We have um, we can put a video on there. We can put testimonials. We can put your author photo and bio. We have buy buttons. We have colorful, pretty background, and we make it a very appealing page. I leave it up indefinitely. You can use it for ongoing promotion if you choose, but it has nowhere to go but Amazon. No buttons to anything. So there's no extraneous distractions. Okay, you can go to the next page, John. Uh, Amazon has a couple things they're doing now. And, and I've kind of figured out the timing on the number one new release. If your book is released just before we sh start our promotion, you often get Amazon number one new release as a banner on your sales page. Uh, the Amazon number one bestseller badge I put on your, your cover, Amazon does not. The only way they acknowledge that you have a number one bestseller is in your there's a section on your page called product details and they have the categories there and when you get to number one you see that you reached number one number one can be elusive i mean you might have it i've had people you have it for only one hour but that's not very typical usually you have it at least a day and i've had people have it for a week or two there's one author from the tom bird group that is consistently at number one and she's been out there 18 months so it depends a lot on your book whether or not people are buying it whether or not you're promoting it but once you have it you have it and you have it ever after uh like i said the top 100 are bestseller once in a while i have a book that we just can't get around the number one guy and they end up with a number two that's still an amazon bestseller so we have a different badge we can use for that. I have a couple others beyond that. <clears throat> but those are the, um, the kind of the badges that we use to acknowledge your success. And we can put them up on the Amazon Kindle page. We can't put them up on the paperback page. You can use them on your website. We can use them in social media. And, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a benefit to have that tagline okay john all right so what are the benefits for one thing you get admiration and respect you know you all think of walking into a party and you see someone asks you what you've been doing you say i wrote a book oh yeah great what's it about well, it's a novel and it was a number one bestseller on Amazon. All of a sudden you get some serious admiration and respect and probably a few sales. And it gives you self-confidence that you you know, I, so many of you are shy about your books. You don't want to talk about them and you don't want to put anything out there and you're nervous. And, but once you have that, you feel a lot better. You feel a lot more like touting a little bit when you're in a group or whatever. And that goes along with the prestige of success. Um, if you have, if you plan to write more books, it's gonna help you in selling those future books because people see, oh, wow, she had a number one bestseller, I ought to buy her book. It gives you the um, expert status. If it's a self-help book and you want to be a keynote speaker, it's going to benefit you greatly to walk in the door with a number one bestseller badge on your book rather than meekly enter the room and say, well, I have a book. So that helps you a lot with the expert status and it gives you credibility and influence. People will look to you for, for information, advice, expert material. Some people create a line of auxiliary products. You know, if you have a fantasy book, you can do t-shirts, mugs, calendars, things like that. If you had a self-help book, you could do calendars. Uh, that midlife was style. That was uh, uh, one of the landing pages we tried to click through. She had a catchy thing and she, you could easily do t-shirts and mugs and things with that. It helps you get speaking engagements. 
It helps you get radio magazine and newspaper interviews. And with your ebook, if you put your information, your business services in the back of the book, it also helps you expand your business. Because if people read your book and get to the end and there's a link to your website and they can click right through, you have a good chance of getting a new client or selling a book. Also, many of you just wrote your book because it's a, your life dream or you have a story to tell or you have a passion. And, um, you know, it's kind of a fulfillment of that life dream. You also can create your own radio talk show. I was just talking to John about this. Uh, blog talk radio is free. You go in, you set up a show. Uh, you have to promote, you have, you have to get guests, you have to promote your show on social media. But some people are quite successful at it. You're not going to make money on it, but you could get recognition and credibility from having it, and you might enjoy it. You know, it's work, it's extra work, but, you know, it might be something some of you would want to do. Okay, John? Okay, here's my info. Any of you that want to contact me, um, I think it's okay with John if you just reach out to me by email or phone, and we can I can talk to you more and hear more about your hear about your book and your goals and that kind of thing, and you can decide if you want to go forward, or if you want to just let John know that gee, I'd like to get in that program. You know, I try to over deliver and under charge because you know i don't like i'd never nickel and dime you i give you a lot of stuff for free and i i will help you with anything you know if you say denise i don't know how to use my website if i can figure it out i'll help you anything you come up with that you want help with or you want me to look at do you want me to help you write your bio? Do you want me to help you write your book summary? Do you want me to help you write a press release? I'll help you with anything, anything I'm capable of helping you with. So, it, and I'm also a great hand holder and I am, am good about kind of guiding you through the program. Many of you feel like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's next, I'm lost. So I help you through that program and tell you, okay, here's what you got to do. Here's what's coming next. Here's how long it's going to take. Here's how you got to prepare for it. So I really try to hold your hand through the whole thing. And that's probably one of the things you guys that have been in the program like most. So uh, that is pretty much it. And I would be delighted to take questions if you guys have questions. So I'm going to stop sharing and then I'm going to go so I can help with the chat and everything else. So. Okay, now I'm looking at the chat. So I can put uh, people into the um, panelists, anybody that has a question. So. Oh, Lisa, you're a doll. And Judith. Oh, you guys are good. And now, uh, well, I got my own little uh, cheerleading squad here. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it looks like so. that's the case here. Here's a couple new messages. Let's say we got anybody with questions. So um, Amber Wooten has a question. Let me make her a panelist. Okay. Oh, Sharon, you're a doll. Thanks, James. Is that James Parker? He <laughs> knows everything. I don't know everything, Cheryl, but almost. <laughs> oh, hi, James. Well, I don't see our lay our question. Who had a question? Um, Amber does, and she's now a panelist, so she can ask her question. Go. Are you muted, Amber? Go ahead and unmute yourself, Amber. 
Oh, well, I got a, I got, I have bad eyes. There, 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 now you're unmuted, Amber. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, my question is, um, I've already signed up for the program, and my mm -hmm. book isn't finished yet, but um, I'm, I'm shooting for the September uh, publishing time frame, and so I was just wondering if, how I know when to get in touch with you. Get in touch with me now. Okay. We got to get your social media going. We got a lot of building stuff to do. And that's just about the perfect amount of time. So let me jump in a little bit here, Denise. Um, one of the things Tom wants to make sure is that they've gone through five sessions of ADP before they jump over to bestseller. So which, gotta have which ADP are you in, Amber? Are you in one? Yes. I'm in the calm. The calm. You just started, so you're only two sessions in. So after the fifth session, just send me an email. And say, hey, can I can I go over to Denise, the bestseller program? Um, Tom wants everybody to get that far before they move over because there's a lot of things that actually prepares you better. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Denise. Okay, that's fine. But the sooner the better, guys. Yeah, the sooner the better. I agree. I, I'm also in there with Denise. And let me tell you, I've been about three and a half months, and there's so much to learn, so much to do. Someone yeah. asked if there's a time frame. Not really. I mean, I have authors that, I'm, that aren't launching till November. I have, you know, people that, you know, want a shorter time frame because they've got a specific date, maybe like their mother's birthday or something. So, you know, we might speed it up. Anything we don't cover in the, in the lead up to the launch, we can cover after. But I really want all of you guys that want to be in the program to at least start a Twitter account. Get ahead of the game a little bit. I usually work with you guys about 12 or more weeks. Any other questions? Um, the cost of the program, I, what is it? it Tom charges what? Thirty two hundred. Thirty two hundred. If they paid for it during a retreat, um, it's even discounted a, a few dollars more. Here's a question. Tom for read. I don't know what uh, Debbie Moody's asking. Well, Debbie Moody was asking, um, originally I had told Debbie Moody that um, they could they could start working with you after Soul Read. Tom has changed that policy now. He would rather they wait until 580p sessions and then from there. Okay. Um, now, Teresa McCallum asked if they can contact me direct. You can contact me direct, but you'll need to go to, through Tom for the payment and the contract and all that stuff. But yeah, even if your book isn't finished, if you've been through five of those sessions, let's get started. Yeah, Teresa could get started now. She, if she hasn't, I will... Um... Send me an email, Teresa, and I'll um, hook you and Denise up. No, you yes. don't need to. What, Sue Samino's asking a question. Do we have to wait until we finish edits and everything? The answer to that question is no. No, I'd love to get you even before your style edit if you've been in the ADP program long enough. Now, what's this about when are the five ADP sessions? Aren't they ongoing? So, so the calm will have their third session next Monday. And then the following Monday, I think. And then there's a break because of the retreats. Um, so they'll be able to go to you sometime around the first part of August, the people in the calm. OK.
All right, and then um, Veronica. Is Veronica ready? Veronica is in the Hawaii group, if I remember correctly. All I have to do for, one of the things, let me just share with everybody a second. One of the things I have to do is validate that people have made payments that cover Denise's program. Yeah. One of the things that recently happened is I moved an author forward who was on a payment plan and they had not paid enough towards the payment plan to move forward to Denise. So if you're wanting to move forward and you're in a payment plan, you may have to pay in full to get to Denise. But can't they do a payment plan with me? We've That's done something, that in the past. It's, something, it's something I need to talk to Tom and work out. Um, if they're if they've already in other words if they've already contracted to have your services and they're on a full payment plan for everything it's pretty yeah. hard to change that around oh i'm not asking about that yeah i'm just saying if they haven't paid for me and they want to do it but somebody here said um they're all of these authors are tied on money so if tom's willing for my program to do three installments then i could do july august september i could even do four payments so we could we can work that out denise i will work um with tom on that aspect i'm sure that can be worked out yeah and uh debbie moody john will find out if you've paid in full yeah i i don't have a list right now and I won't be able to get that answer until next week, but I will get any answer for anybody. Just send me an email saying, hey, have I paid? In, I paid in full. If you can show me proof of payment, that's good enough for me. Otherwise, if I have to wait for Tom or somebody else to tell me, then that might delay things. So any way you want to prove it to me is good enough for me. All right. Now, Teresa McCallum says she has paid. I know you'll verify that, but um if she wants to send me an email should we but i don't know if she's got Teresa can just Teresa can just send me an email and then i'll get her started from there okay perfect all right anything else in here all that bobin if we have a twitter account what should we be posting about right now just retweet and like other people's stuff. You don't need to be tweeting at all right now. But um, if you're going to be in my program, we'll create content for it. And we'll set you up in a cool little system that has a catalog of, of batches of tweets. And so you can say, OK, I want to, I want to use this one. It's got 50 inspirational tweets with images. And you can connect it to your Twitter account. It spits them out three or four times a day. And you got stuff going out that's fresh. But we won't promote, start promoting the book till we get up to the launch. I've done that before, like lead up to it. Seems like people are tired of it by the time we launch. Mm -hmm. So I like to kind of spring it on everybody all at once. Not me. I'm going to be disappointed when it's over. <laughs> <laughs> well that's i'm disappointed when it's over because i get to be such good friends with everybody that i'm missing my pals anybody else what? questions um yeah there's a question here from about sales it it depends a lot i've had let me tell you this, the more woo woo and out there the book, the more the book sells. I had a book about Akashic Records, which I knew nothing about. I do now, but it's about going back into your past lives, your entire spiritual history and understanding your current life by discovering things that happened in your past. I don't know if that's a good explanation, but it's kind of the way I understand it. She sold about 500 books during the launch. 
and she had like 1,100 people opt in to get a bonus gift. So she grew her mailing list by 1,100 people. So, you know, it, this is not the, the end, be all and end all. This is simply a stepping stone toward, you know, developing a platform for your book. If you really want to make your book a success, you're going to have to work at it every day. You know, set aside an hour every day to work on your book. And there, Cheryl Stradling's amazing. She has dug up more ways to promote her book. She should put on a webinar for you guys. I'm learning things from Cheryl. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. So there's all kinds of, um, you know, avenues. There's getting, Cheryl got her book in uh, libraries. And, um, you know, if you go through, I guess it's Ingram, isn't it, John? You can get your book in bookstores. Yeah, well, there's a couple ways. We're actually working on a new package that will be an upload package to various other publishing venues at a small small fee for the uh, we're going to get you on about eight to ten more publishing platforms and um, the more you're on the better you are actually smash words might be a better one for getting it into small bookstores than even ingram is they actually have a better royalty plan too yeah and smash words is pretty easy to upload i've done a couple of those recently um, if you have a series of books, you can be best-selling author of the Chronicles of whatever series. You don't necessarily have to get a bestseller for each of those books. You know, I can help you with, uh, you know, promoting them. And I've done that with a lot of authors that didn't come back through the program, but that came back to me. And, um... You know, I do a two, I discount it by a third. So for, and even for the third book, I'd probably discount it more just because you know what you're doing so well by, by then. But um, start digging, Cheryl. <laughs> Question has, who hasn't answered, Debbie? Any more questions? Don't be shy now. She's got all kinds of answers. Somebody just raised a hand. I wish my eyes were better. I can't read the name of the person because it's an unusual name. Patia? Uh, um, but yeah, but Patia? Um, Pat, just call her Patty. Oh, okay, Patty. Good, Patty. I look forward to talking to you. Yeah, and may, John will get back to you, Sue, on the uh, payments. Anybody um, has questions for me, you can you can ask them now or you can send me emails. I'll I'll get you the answers if I don't know them. All right. I'm kind of going back through to make sure. Yeah, I'm kind of doing the same. Oh yeah. Anybody with worries about if they've paid, John will find that out. Yeah. You know, um, I have done these programs in six weeks, but to be honest, you get a lot more out of them if it's, if it's longer, because we can do the perfunctory stuff in six weeks. We can build the images, we can do the Amazon stuff, we can make your landing page, you know, we can get you on Twitter, but longer is better because you're going to have ongoing questions and there's a lot of things that come up along the way and more time is better. Nothing else? Uh, here's another one. Do we need to have our website done before we start with Denise? No. No. 
I'm just starting my website tomorrow, believe it or not. Thank you, Sharon. They're asking me if I'll post the PowerPoint. Yes, I'll be posting the PowerPoint or actually best way is send me an email and I'll send it to you. You okay with that, Denise? Yeah. Yeah, just send me an email and I'll send you the PowerPoint. Anyone else? You're welcome, Cheryl. Now wait, I got, who was late? Ray? I haven't talked to Ray. Did Ray just come in? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Carolyn. I look forward to working with you too. Raise in. Ray will get to see the PowerPoint and listen to the whole thing. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna post the recording for sure. Good. Any All other right. any other questions? Denise, any last words? Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you do the program. You'll get a lot of information, a lot of confidence, and a lot of knowledge. And we'll have a lot of fun. And um, I'll teach you many, many things that you may or may not, most of you don't seem to um, know how to do a lot of the things we'll do together and that I'll teach you. So it can be very beneficial in many ways for, you know, ongoing promotion of your book and just for um, achieving your immediate goals. So I'd love to work with any and all of you and I hope I hear from you. All right, one last chance. Anybody with last minute questions? Oh, Ray says he wants to do it. So check on his thing, his payment, John, and set me up with him. I will do that. Um, Ray has to do a few more. Um, Ray, you came in a little late. We now have a requirement that you have to go through five ADP sessions before you can be turned over to Denise. So you've only had two so far, Ray. So as soon after that, you can send me an email asking to go forward. So somewhere probably around August 1st. Yes. Bye, Sharon. Um, Simone's asking, can we join at a later date? Absolutely, you can join whenever you feel you want to, Simone. Yeah, there's no uh, pressure. All the all you have to do is ever and, contact me and say, hey, I'd like to join the bestseller program and I'll set you up with a contract change and you'll go from there. So not a problem, Simone. One other thing I would like to say, John, is, you know, Tom always um, suggests certain times of year are best for launching a book. But nowadays with people, everybody's got a phone glued to their hand 24 seven. It hardly matters when you're launching because people are you know on top of their their uh, information at all times i think we got a couple more comments that came in let's see here thanks carol yeah good comment from carol there yeah it's fun denise makes it fun you can tell by her her upbeat personality, she makes it fun and she teaches you a ton. I couldn't do it without Denise. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Hey, now, how often are the ADP sessions? Well, this one says.
Not till August 7th? Yeah, about August 7th is when the fifth one is. Um, oh, I see. I see. I get I'll it. readdress this with Tom again next week, especially okay. since we're having such a strong response for those that want to move forward. The biggest issue of all, just so everybody knows, is the biggest issue is have you paid for it? If you've paid for it, we'll see about getting you moved forward a little bit sooner, but we'll see if Tom wants to back down from that thought of five ADP sessions or not. I'm not making yeah. any guarantees. I understand right. his reasoning. It is good reasoning. So if somebody can ask that question maybe next week at the ADP and, and see what he says. That was a hint, by the way. <laughs> now he's going to go back and listen to this and give me a hard time for saying it. <laughs> Got everybody to laugh, though. It's all right, John. We'll back you up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, good. Thanks. <laughs> I've heard that one before, too, by the way, Amber. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Well, it seems like it's um, everybody's got their questions answered. If you have other questions, John, do you mind if they contact me direct with questions? No, not at all. They can send you emails and ask you questions all they want. Okay. And again, it's D E N C A S S I N O at gmail.com. Dan Casino, Casino has two S's. All right. Should we wrap it up? Yeah, we can wrap it up. Um, let me just say you're all very welcome. And uh, we're sorry about the little bit of uh, problems with getting Denise on there tonight, but um, it worked out just fine, in my opinion. I think yeah, we got some good questions in. And, uh, and anybody has questions afterwards, if you don't get a hold of Denise and you need to ask me, feel free to send the questions my way. I'll get your answers from Denise. She's real quick to respond to me. Good. Hey, Denise, you have the floor. Your last words. Okay. Bye, everybody. I hope I get to work with all of you. I love you authors. You're all so smart and interesting and fun. So step on up and we'll have a good time and you'll be in better shape than you were. All right, everybody, have a great night and look forward to talking and working with you more. Bye. 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 Bye.